Yo, yo, I'm Funky Fun, and I'm going to be welcoming back to Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy 2. Last time we finished off World 1, today we're going to be starting on World 2, starting off right here with Puzzle Plane Galaxy. Uh, yeah, really all that it, there is to say about that. So this galaxy is pretty interesting. It has some uh, throwbacks to some things in Galaxy 1, which we'll be seeing shortly. So, yeah, so the whole idea behind this galaxy is that there's a lot of stuff that uh, kind of falls away and you have to move fast to avoid and there's also a lot of like stuff to pound as you can see uh, so like anything that has like this symbol right here as you can imagine you ground pound and uh, I think I know if that's right here uh, and I think if we just if we just like pound these ones over here this is just for some extra star bits which as I've said you probably want to get and uh, over here is some more stars over here I'm not sure if I've actually like shown off what this thing is yet. Basically what this does is it'll basically like show you a video of how to do something. Yeah, Z in the middle to ground pound. And then you can watch how, I guess, I'll, I'll just show it off just this once. Just as like a, just for reference, it's called a hint video. And you basically come over there and, wow, that's how you ground pound. Yep, ground pound to stomp enemies, yep. And that's what that is. There have been a lot of those wrong. Wait, does that like reset all this stuff? Can I like, can I like infinitely grind for star bits in that case? That's okay. That's actually interesting. That that resets the area. That actually might be. This actually might be a really good star, um, bit grinding spot in that case because you can. I don't know. I mean, this isn't that. I mean, this is, okay. Well, actually, th so this is exactly 20 because I'm at 40 now, and I did it twice. So you can get 20. Watch the hidden video. It'll reset everything, and uh, that's actually kind of interesting. So we can um. I think what we actually have to do is, um, kill the Wigglers to... Oh no, you have to ground pound the middle to move on. Uh, that's what it is. Uh, and then ground pound these are what... Wait, what? Oh no, that, that's what I ground pound to, to, to get there. There's somewhere around here there's gonna be, um, musical notes, and I forgot. Okay, so all of these do a different thing. One of them is the launch star, one of them... Okay, here's the musical notes. And then one of them is the launch star, one of them is coin, one of them the music notes, and the other one is probably star bits in that case. Uh, so all the music notes in this game, I believe just give three one-ups, there aren't any of them that give like stars the way there were in a Galaxy 1. Okay, we're gonna have to go a little bit faster, and I really didn't make that. I think I did that pretty well, but well, whatever. Uh, anyways, moving on. Over here, I sh can I just, um, alrighty, there we go. So the idea behind this is y yeah, did you basically want to ground pound those things and get through? But uh, yeah, you don't really need to. You can just kind of do a. Lex, let me do this from the other side. You can just kind of do a one, two, three, and there you go. But the intended way is you go to the other side and you um, like basically pound all of those things like into the ground, and uh, they'll go out the other side, and then you'll be able to reach it easily. I think I can. I think I can just, like, kind of get up there, but I did very poorly, so whatever, we can just, uh, well, kick real quick. As you saw, I got the Comet Medal for this area. It's right here we want to move fast, because the buzz saws cut away the platform, and it basically, the platform that's before is always the one that falls, so, like, uh, yeah, if I'm, like, standing right here, like, this platform, like, that I'm currently on is what's gonna fall, uh, not the one that I'm going to, which probably makes sense. Uh, okay, let's get off that. Come over here. You want to quickly ground pound that makes that uh, sling star up here and we can escape to over here. Here's a, a Luma shop. We don't really need that. Ooh, grab some star bits. And I missed most of them, but that's okay. So right here, uh, as you can imagine, we just kind of want to pound this. Uh, we have to basically have to pound every one of these in uh, three times. So first is that one. Now is this one. We have some star bits over there too. Oh wait, only like once? Okay. Wait, I think, did I pound these in the wrong order? Maybe I did. This guy over here needs to be pounded. So, yeah, you have to, I have to pound this one first. Because this one has to, you know, go through. My bad. Uh, so now I'll come back over here and... How many times do I have to pound this one? And there we go, and that fi finishes off this puzzle. And uh, now this guy's back. Remember him from... Galaxy 1 from uh, Honey Hive Galaxy, he is just as uh, difficult as he was then, which is 
not difficult in the slightest. Once again, just kind of like wait for him to jump over. Takes a while to come back, and now he's dead. Pretty fun. And uh, he's not the only throwback to Honey Hive Galaxy that we'll be seeing here. And, you know, I'll show you what you mean when we get to what the next star is here, which, as you saw, was the Hungry Luma that I briefly showed in the, uh, like on the second platform. Or was it the second planet? No, that was would have been the third planet, I believe, and anyway, there's the first star. Pretty standard. I feel like that was level just kind of an introduction to, like, I guess ground pounding in general, maybe. Uh, because you didn't, I guess you didn't really have to do that for anything else yet. So the few changes to the world map, is there? I mean, it's just, I mean, yeah, there are more galaxies to explore, but Toad came back with the, okay, so Male Toad is here. Uh, I'm assuming the, I'm assuming that the letter he has right now is just the Princess Peach letter that gives you, like, one-ups. It might be a, another letter, which would be very interesting. And, uh, if it is another letter, then that means we can go get another star, but... Okay, I figured it would just be the Peach letter. So, something... It's like in Galaxy 1, the majority of the time, the letters you get are just from Peach, who will give you mushroom, one-up mushrooms. But there are also certain letters that I actually, like, will, like... Okay, wait. Oh, wait, wait, how did I... Oh, okay, so, this was the thing I was talking about last time, that you can go to a Grand World map, and I, I guess... I guess, uh, Lubba did that for us, because I didn't click anything, and, okay, so which, okay, so it's the zoom out thing right here, anyways, as you can see, we have a hint star to do, and I was saying, basically, there are certain letters that you get, which will activate certain missions in certain galaxies, it's sort of like in Galaxy 1, with, like, the three Luigi letters, but this time, there are a lot more of them, and there's a lot more of a variety, so, anyways, this time, we're just, we're gonna want to get some coins, uh, as you saw, because of, like, the the Hungry Luma, we, I believe we need 70 of them, which you might think is a lot, given the fact that we're, like, you know, it's only on the third planet, and I, there aren't really that many coins, but there actually are a pretty high number of coins in and around this planet, so I'll show you where. For stars, we have, like, these, this set of coins right here. There's some coins up there, but most of the coins, just like last time, are going to be in this pipe. And, yeah, we got this coin right here, and once, just like in, um, back in Fluffy Bluff Galaxy, that's gonna make a ton of coins up here. Hopefully I can get most of them. I missed one there. I don't have to get all of them. I just have to get, you know, a lot of them. So we're up to 44. Uh, let's see what we can do. Okay, I guess I... 50, wait, did I, like, miss one? Uh, okay, I didn't miss any of them. Oh, I guess if you get them all, you get a one-up mushroom, and that was, I think, maybe 50 coins are in there, which still isn't going to bring us all the way up to 70, but there's a few more. We can grab some from the grass right here. We can grab some from ground pounding these. Okay, never mind. I guess we cannot do that. We can... Okay, there's also this. We've also got a big coin up here, which I'm assuming will give us everything else we need. We can get stuff on the Octumba for a little extra as well. And that's... Okay, that's 67. Uh, now, what am I missing? Okay, do these ones give coins then? Okay, here we go. Those ones gave coins. I guess just the one on the other side didn't. Does this give coins as well? Okay, so, well, so there actually aren't that many coins um, in around this section. You have to get almost all of them, because I think I got them all, and I only got 72, so... There might have been some more that I missed, but, uh... Yeah, that's honestly kind of... It's a lot closer than I remember it to be, so I'm pretty sure I just missed some somewhere. Anyways, the, that's how you can do it pretty easily. And uh, he's going to make a plant that's going to seem very familiar to us if you, um... Yeah, that looks it looks a little familiar from, from something. I uh, guess, we'll, guess we'll have to take a closer look to really find out for sure. And uh, we got the cloud flower here, which is nice. Um, pretty sure you yeah, obviously have to need that. And that's because it's, it's in replacement of a certain other power-up that we needed to use last time. So what is this planet, uh, if you remember? Yep, it's Bugaboom's planet from Galaxy 1. So yeah, I guess for some reason this galaxy really wanted to be reminiscent of Honey Hive, because you have both the Star 2 boss and the Star 3 boss here, and this is just straight up the exact same planet, which is pretty interesting. Um, yeah, let's grab the other 
Cloud Flower. So this guy is probably even easier than in Galaxy 1. Because in Galaxy 1, you have to use the B uh, Mario. And okay, I land in the water. By the way, water deactivates Cloud Mario. Just like, it, de it deactivates pretty much every power-up that like isn't a timed one. So like, Bug Mario, um, I mean, B Mario, Cloud Mario, Spring Mario, I'm pretty sure Boo Mario. And yeah, so not really too much of a surprise. Okay, where is he? Where is he coming? There he is, and got him. Okay, I did not get him. That's unfortunate, but you know he's going to come back around, and... Well, that was extremely close to hitting, but just kind of didn't, so... Okay, come on, get back here. And... Okay, this time we're actually going to... Okay, he's going to, like... Alrighty, then. Alright, there we go. Now he's done for. I didn't even ground pound his back. I think I ground pounded his head. But I guess that counts. Anyways, there is... Bugaboom is down again. Didn't really learn anything from the... From his adventure in Galaxy 1. And once again, we got his star. And yeah, it's actually interesting that he's a... That, like, that's like the secret star. Is actually against a boss. It's one of, I think, two boss secret stars in the game. And also something I also want to mention is... This star name has probably my favorite star name, like... In really any game, Bugaboom's back because it's a really cool like double meaning, I think, especially with the apostrophe, because it could actually mean two things. Because like you can interpret that as saying Bugaboom is back, which is like a reference to the fact that he was also a boss in Mario Galaxy One and he's back in this game. But it could also mean like it could be like possessive, like could say like the back of Bugaboom, which would be a re reference to the fact that like his back is his weak point. And I don't really know which one they went for, but I think it's. I don't know if that's like an even intended to be a double meaning, but I think it's really cool in any case. Anyways, Bugaboom is back, and now he's gone again, because he's a very easy boss. And I guess, anyway, that's all we can do in this galaxy right now. It's not done, but uh, it's, it's, it's as much as we can do right now. And now let's move on to Hightail Falls Galaxy, which is a, a pretty fun one, I gotta say. We're gonna see the return of a uh, very cool character, and... It's really going to introduce a sort of new concept of this game. So the it's going to introduce the Hot Stepping Dash Pepper, which is a really cool power-up. And it's all, actually not a power-up for Mario. It is a power-up for a certain... Wait, can I not grab those star bits? I guess were they too far away or something? So for stars, you might notice that the music is a remix of the Super Mario World 3. And that's because this is another Yoshi level. And that Hot Stepping Dash Pepper is actually a Yoshi exclusive power, which I, which is actually pretty cool. So you can come up like this, uh, eat it up, and uh, basically it makes you go real nice and fast. And it's a li obviously, since it's fast, the trade-off is that it's hard to control, but you know what, it's... Hopefully I'll be able to manage it. So, and yeah, you can just kind of use it to run up like straight up wall, straight up like walls, and um, if you hit anything you'll fall off, and okay, I kind of messed up right there. That's okay. So you can actually just like there's an easy way to like run up. What I'm doing is actually for like a little secret, which is you have to like basically weave like that. Okay, there we go. And uh, if you just want to like move on, the launch star's right there. But you can actually grab this other um, dash pepper. Now we're up here, and let's just let's just let Yoshi calm down for a little bit. And uh, sup? How you doing? Uh, skills brought you very far. What have you is enough thing? I don't really know why the every coin truly is. That's a. Uh, I think that's. But can I like see the star bits? I wanted to grab them all. Uh, okay. Whatever, but I think what he's saying there is that uh, somewhere around here there is a... Why can I not grab those star bits? I don't really get that, but okay. I, mean, I guess what he's saying is if you look around somewhere, there's a hungry luma over there, which we, uh, we're going to have to feed. And, and also, there's, a, there's also one up there, as you saw, and uh, we're going to have to go up there for a certain something else later on as well. But yeah, it's kind of weird that they put, like, the penguin guy, because he's normally in, like, you know, the water levels, but I guess for some reason he's here in the, um... I guess, I, I don't know, what type of theme is this? I guess just kind of, like, athletic in general. Like, there's not really, like... I, I mean, I guess there's, like, water in... Yeah, I, I guess it's, like, a... I guess it is, like, sort of, like, a water theme, right? I mean, it's... It's Hightail Falls Galaxy, so there's, like... There's falls, I guess. So, whatever. Anyway, here's where stuff starts to get a little bit more difficult, because, like... Now I've reached the point that if you, like, bonk and hit anything, you actually die. So, uh, yeah, watch out. Um, 23. Wait, how many did I get? Because I have a lot, and, uh, how many do I need? 
30. Okay, uh, I don't think I have that many. Sorry, I don't, I don't have 30. Because I was going to say, if I actually did have that many, I could just feed him now and, like, not actually get the star. Because you don't have to, um... If, if you feed him and then you get a different star, like, he stays, um... Okay, whatever, that's fine. I, I just wanted to get the Comet Medal. But, like, if you... If you feed him and then go finish the star, like, he stays as a launch star for other missions. Like, you never have to refeed a Hungry Luma, which you probably noticed. And there we go, now we do that part. We have the return of these... Okay, wait, um... Let, let, okay, now, do it like this. Let's, let's, let's... So, 25... I don't think I'm gonna have enough. Whatever, I, I can just do this again real quick. Anyways, and now let's grab... Okay, let's calm down there, Yoshi. So now we just wanna... Here's the last strike. We're gonna grab this one up because we are extra awesome. And because we are so awesome, we're just kind of gonna... I think I can actually just make that jump, can't I? I think I can do this. Okay, I think that actually just might lead to my death. There actually is a way to do that. I think I can... Okay, I'm, this is probably gonna be a bad idea, but I kind of like do this, I think. Yes, you can! I've, I've seen that done before, but like, I was not confident in my ability to actually pull it off, but, uh, I mean, I have actually done that shortcut before. A lot of the shortcuts that, like, I've been doing are things that, like, back when I was first playing through this game, and, like, maybe a little bit after, I used to watch these, like, shortcut videos of both this game and Mario Galaxy 1, and then I used to, like, try and replicate them with, you know, varying degrees of success, and I remember, that's how I, like, kind of know a lot of this stuff, so I, and then I used to, like, you know, try and replicate it, and... I got pretty consistent in a lot of stuff, and okay, this is the- okay, so, if he actually, like, if the male toad actually, like, stops you, and it's unskippable, that means that it's going to be a, yeah, that means that it's going to be a, um, a letter that activates the star, so here's the chimp, I, we're gonna be getting a lot of letters from him over the course of the game, and he's back in Fluffy Bluff Galaxy, and, uh, he's gonna give us the last star, so we'll be going there shortly, let me, I guess I'll go there. Yep, in this episode, I guess, because I haven't been going for too long. But first things first, let's get the other star in Hightail Falls, which, as you saw, was a hungry one. We're going to need 30 coins, which uh, shouldn't be too difficult. I missed a lot of coins in, like, because there that, there's that one coin, the one big coin in the second planet, and I don't think I got all of the coins there. And then just in general, we're going to have to stomp some enemies. So I'll just, um, I'll just do that real quick and almost die, apparently, and I'll just meet you at the, um, Hungry Luma. That should be fun. This is what I was saying. I think I need, like, most of, like, these coins, which nailed it, and then, yeah, there's also, like, all these coins, which I didn't even get last time, because I went up to the top instead, and that's probably where I lost pretty much all of the coins that I needed, because other than that, we're at, what, 24 from that, and, I sh and then I'll easily get to 30, because there's, like, two on pretty much all of these, uh, platforms, and, yeah, see... 2930 and then still a lot to spare as well, so yeah, not too difficult. Alright, and we made it with 40 coins. Make that 41, 42, and 43, which, okay, never mind, just 42. And, uh, hey, we can I, okay, there we go. Talk to him, and there you go. Yep, I got 30 coins just for you. So, yeah, a lot of the, um, secret stars in this game are just gonna be Hungry Luma stars, as you can imagine. Not, actually, there aren't even that many galaxies that have, like, true secret stars. A lot of them have two main mission stars and then another certain type of star that we haven't seen yet. Like, pr pretty much all of, like, the really early on galaxies didn't have a secret star, like, um, Sky Station, Yoshi Star, uh, what's it called? Spin Dig Galaxy. Like, none of those ones actually have, uh, silver stars. So anyways, we got these guys. Uh, they have they have some silver stars. We're gonna wanna ta okay, um, let's, let's, yo, Yoshi, get back here. Get, get back here. Where do you think you're going? We gotta, we gotta eat the frogs. So yeah, the easiest way to do this is if you have Yoshi, you can obviously just kind of, uh, eat these guys up. If you don't have Yoshi, you're gonna have to chase them down, which is kind of annoying. So, be sure to come here with Yoshi. Uh, I right, get over, get over here. Okay. Got this guy. And one more. I just see you over there. Where do you think you're going? Also, Yoshi is much faster than Mario is, and also faster than those... I actually have no idea what those enemies are called. And this is actually the only planet in the whole game that has them, so I guess it doesn't really matter, but... They're pretty fast, but Yoshi is faster, so, uh... 
Yeah, if you've got Yoshi, there, there's no escape. They're just kind of dead. And there we go. That's Hytale Falls Galaxy done. Well, as done as it can be at this point in time. And yeah, pretty cool. I really like... I actually really like that galaxy. I guess I just really like the Dash Pepper in general. Like, it is, it is hard to control initially, but like, once you get the hang of it, it's really cool, you know, running up walls and the like of that. And alright, love, what, what do you have to say now? Quite a few of those. Oh, I've, I've got plenty of Power Stars. I've got... What am I at? 16, I believe. And yeah, so he makes this... Basically, the sign shows you... It's basically the exact same thing that's on the pause menu, which is kind of weird. I don't really know. I guess... Like, I don't know why this is, like, an achievement unlocked. Uh, like, you have this. You can also... Because you can also just get... I think I showed you. Um, okay, pause. Okay, do I have to, like, be away from that? You can just go to, like, star list and see that from there, too. And this was always available. So, I don't really know why... Like, I don't know why this is, this is a special achievement. Like, that's just something that could have always been there. Anyways, uh... Like I said, let's go back to Fluffy Bluff Galaxy now and do the last star there, which, uh, as you saw, there's a little little chimp icon, which means that, uh, that mission has been activated. Now the second star is available. And, like I said, we'll be seeing more of him later. And the chimp isn't the only, um, type of star that's activated by mail. There's actually one other type, and we'll see that icon later. So the chimp stomp challenge. So basically what the chimp does, and what all of his other stars are, is he basically has, like, a challenge for you, and you have to beat it. Obviously, and if you can beat it, you get the star. And, um, the challenges are usually either, uh, sup. Yeah, finally, what, you just... I mean, I, I had to get, like, one other star. Greatest game player in the galaxy. They call me the chimp? I mean, alright, that, that that's his tag. His tag is the chimp. What a, what a legend. And here's some perspective, maybe. So basically, we just have to, um, get over 10,000 points, and you can get points in a, a lot of different ways. You can get them... Okay, where is it? I'm going the wrong direction. For starters, so basically the way you get points is, uh, you can either stomp on enemies, get you a hundred. Um, yeah, that coin there alone gave us a thousand. Each individual, get off the tree, each individual coin gives you an additional a hundred. Um, if you jump on, like, enemies in a row, which I completely failed to do, you can, um, increase it. So right there I got two thousand. Um, three, it goes up to 3,000, which isn't that high, but, like, it is something. And the other, the trade back, is, like, you kind of have to grab the coins afterwards. And, okay, I'm just doing an extremely poor job, but that's okay. The first one is pretty easy. There's also a lot of uh, extra stuff. So right over here, um, this is also worth 1,000. And, okay, let's, let's stop being weird. The star bits are only worth 10, so don't really bother with them. So we can, like, okay, I... I think that was like, and if I didn't do anything, I would have landed on them all, but I did, so. Oh well. And, alright, let's keep going. We have like, I think, we have, we're, yeah, we're, we're doing pretty well based on time. There's a lot of stuff at the top anyways. Okay, can I stop getting hit by like, everything, please? Ugh. Okay, get, get this, whatever, get that guy out of there. Uh, so right up here, there's a lot of rings. First things first, as you saw, there's a one-up mushroom on the tree, just like the life mushroom in the big coin that's worth a thousand. We can kind of bounce around in the circle. Alright, let's not oh messed up. Dang it. Two, three. What? I accidentally spun into them. That's unfortunate. Anyways, we're over a thousand. We can hit this. That'll give us a lot of coins. Again, we're running out of time, but can we can we hit eleven? Can we hit eleven thousand? Uh okay yeah we definitely can. Oh, I can just spin into them and you get the same number of points. You just don't get the, um, coin afterwards. And, yeah, only 10,000. You thought I couldn't get 10,000? 10, 10,000, I'm pretty sure I got them on my first try ever. But, I mean, obviously this is the first and they don't want to make it too hard. There are some ones later that are much, much more difficult that I'll probably fail a few times and you kind of need really good routing for, but, you know, for now that's just the first one and it's... it's whatever. And, anyway, that's going to be Fluffy Bluff Galaxy actually completely done. Like, we actually have everything in there, which will, which will be actually our second galaxy total done, which is pretty nice. And grab coins, star bits, and stuff. Now, I guess I'll do... I guess we can do, we can do one more star, I believe, because the next galaxy that we're going to actually only has one that we can get right now, so I think that's a 
fitting way to end at that galaxy being right here, Boulder Bowl Galaxy. Boulder Bowl Galaxy is pretty cool. It's actually going to introduce a new power-up as well. And yeah, it's a pretty pretty cool power-up. It's kind of like it's like the opposite of the cloud flower, I guess, which is kind of interesting. And rock and roll Odillo, and there it is right there. It's called the Rock Mushroom. And I'll explain how it works when we get to it. So Alright, here we are. And uh, let's grab some star bits along the way so it's locked behind this thing but uh we can kind of kill all the enemies and that should make it appear um get out of there and that's going to activate it so let's grab that and now we are rock mario so the way it works is basically um when you shake you roll up into a ball and you go boom so first things first let's break this open and that's going to get us a, a comet medal it's real early in the level and what does this say what did that say? Uh, if you can change your camera view with it, if you can't change your view, okay, that's just like telling how um the uh, camera changing with us will one up back here, which is pretty cool. And the other thing, so Rock Mario you can just kind of like hit every, anything. You can bulldoze into these things. Uh, you can basically bulldoze into any enemy, and it'll just kind of kill immediately, with the exception of a few enemies. If you knock into this, wait, that didn't hit. Okay, if you knock into this, it knocks it down. And you can also use the uh, go bowling. Uh, I think I missed one, but that's okay. And you can also like go off those ramps. And those ramps are actually automatic, so um, that's pretty nice. Uh, we can these things that like give us so much trouble as regular Mario because you have to like you know time it well and stuff. As Rock Mario, you can just kind of like obliterate them. Now we see the main downside with this one is that you know once you start rolling, it's a little hard to stop. That's why you have like these things all around in this area. If you run into them, it breaks them, but it does knock you out. And like, there's actually no way to like stop on your own. I'm pretty sure. So you just kind of have to, you know, be careful. You can still like, and this also like replaces your spin. You can still like jump on enemies, but like, obviously that's a lot more fun and stuff. Albeit not as safe. So when you get, when there are only a few left, you might want to switch to um, just jumping, or you know, you can play a little bit more risky like that either is fine so let's grab all those and does this one okay yeah and that's another power up that you know deactivates when you hit a launch star slash water slash whatever uh okay so right here i think we have to grab the um okay that's actually a remember that goomba's there because it, it'll be it'll, it'll be relevant at some point basically okay um I'm just kind of going crazy. Um, by the way, Rock Mario does not beat the Chomps, so um, stay away from them because they will still kill you. Uh, I mean, they won't kill you, but they will—they'll still do damage. They. Um, what does Captain Toad have to say? By the way, treasure hunting. You're looking for a star too. Okay, that was very uninformative, and I completely missed the uh, Sling Star. So let's. Okay, you want to like stop being a little, a little, a little crazy? You wanna. Alright, you know what, whatever. Let's just take it nice and slow. There we go, and uh, now we're on a planet like this, which obviously implies that we're going to have a boss fight. We've had a lot of... Well, I guess there's only one bo other boss fight in this episode against Bugaboom. Well, I guess there's the Mandibug stack as well. But anyways, now we got this guy. Uh, I'm assuming he's Roladillo. Basically, what he's going to do, as you can imagine, is he's going to charge at us, and we're going to have to grab the... Um, we're going to have to become a rock mar, and we're going to have to run into his behind, which is exposed. Now, he, he can do a roll as well, so um, I'm assuming he's going to do that now. No? Okay, yeah, there he goes. Uh, as directed to Mario, you cannot outrun him as... Roll. Okay, we... I ran out of roll, and then he kind of ran into me. Okay, yes. Okay, you want to, like... Alright, this is... Wait, how did I... Okay, I'm, like, stuck in him. Okay, so as rock mar, you are faster than him. But, okay. So, I guess you run out of Rock Mario Mushroom, and that's interesting. Okay, so I think the idea is when he... So, so probably when he rolls up, I'm assuming you want to, like... I guess you want to, like, kind of come to the side. Um, okay, there we go. So, if we come to the side... Um, okay. Well, I, like, do not remember this guy at all, apparently. So you, only, you only fight this guy one time ever. I guess the idea is... You don't actually want to, like, brawl up. You just kind of want to, like, 
Okay, you want to do it like that, and then eventually he'll get he'll get a little dizzy, right? Am I remembering this correctly? Yeah. Okay. Well, he does that a while. Okay. Yeah. So then when he's done, he gets dizzy, and then you attack him real easy. Uh, so yeah, you don't actually want to like ball up and try and outrun him. You just want to basically wait for him to come. Right, now, now he's gonna go a little crazy. Uh, yeah, come and get me. Oh, okay, well, he's done. Okay, and just three hits, and he's kind of dead. Uh, I think. Oh no, he's not done. Okay. Well, okay, I really do not remember this guy. I don't remember how many hits he takes. Okay, now he's going crazy. But yeah, the idea is don't actually bowl up into the ball until he's until he like gets dizzy and then roll into him. Okay, that's actually kind of interesting. Or maybe that's not how you're supposed to. Maybe you are supposed to try and outrun him, but that just kind of didn't work. So I'm gonna assume that that's what you're supposed to. At the very least, it's a way that. I can confirm works is just whenever he's gonna run into you just avoid it and then he'll just go way past you and then do that eventually he gets dizzy and then ram him in ram him in the behind with your big rock balls big rock ball can ram his behind or something like that and anyway there's the actually the only star that we can get in that galaxy right now not the only star total there's still two more but neither of them are actually available right now which is kind of interesting and all right we're inside and here in the engine room, because, you know, rock mushrooms, a new power-up, so we're going to have to put that guy on display. A rock, huh? Yeah. Did work out there, I guess. What? Because I found a rock? It looks like we got the room for us. I don't mind having it around. I mean, I mean, yeah, we obviously... I mean, it's not that big, like... We have plenty of room for this stuff. Anyways, uh, I guess that's going to be it for today. We did... Well, I think we got, what, six more stars? I guess I'm going to, like on average six stars per episode, which I mean they are all short and I do do them relatively fast so I guess it's fine but yeah we basically f we finished a fluffy bluff galaxy for good uh, and then we got all the stars we can right now in puzzle playing Hightail Falls and Boulder Bowl which is pretty cool so and next time we'll continue with World 2 probably at the rate that I'm going I guess next episode will just be everything that's left in actually no that's not true because there are some galaxies in world 2 left that uh, actually do have a lot of stars so it'll probably be two more episodes will be needed to finish off world 2 or something anyways I don't know but uh, yeah we'll be doing that next time so yeah I thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time goodbye and take care